I'm going to give a brief introduction to the two different types of reactions that can occur in your uh, in your cells. So the first type that we're going to talk about is condensation reaction, otherwise known as the dehydration reaction, which I'll talk about in a second. So this would be taking two molecules and bringing them together to form one molecule that might look like something like this. In a hydrolysis reaction, we are going to break this up and turn it into two molecules like this. So we'll write above here that this is also known as a dehydration reaction. And the reason being is because if these two things come together to form this, we'll do it in purple, this molecule like this, there is a water, which we'll do in blue, that leaves. And where does this water come from? Well, it comes from this OH group and this H group coming together. So when these form a, if we pretend that this is a two monosaccharides, so a monosaccharide is just a single sugar molecule, so a monosaccharide like glucose, uh, pretend these are two glucoses coming together. Um, they would form a glycosidic bond and they would leave out this OH or this H2O from the OH and the H group. Now, if we were to do a hydrolysis reaction, which is taking a polymer, so these are two monomers, and this is a polymer, taking this polymer and splitting it up into either a smaller polymer and a monomer, or two smaller polymers, or taking a polymer like this, which would be a disaccharide, so just meaning two monosaccharides, and splitting them up into two different monosaccharides like this. So if we had this reaction, we would have an input of water, so it could also be called a hydration reaction, and then you would have this molecule here, like we have above, with your H group on the outside, actually I should draw that on this molecule anyways, we would have still this H, OH, because these molecules can once again Go, undergo a condensation reaction and join with another molecule. So if that happened, it would just be this here with another molecule here. But if this were to happen, this hydrolysis reaction, you'd have your OH group here, and then on your other side, you would have another H group from this H2O that came in here, and then your OH group on the outside. So that is the basics between a condensation reaction and a, and a hydrolysis reaction. So condensation reactions do not occur spontaneously. They require an input of energy. Um, and in hydrolysis reaction, water is required for this reaction to occur.